Welcome back to DIY Geek video. Uh, in this video, we are going to install the GE Inwall Z-Wave Smart Dimmer. So this is a replacement for a typical um, wall switch like that. So a typical wall switch, this one doesn't have any dimming functionality. So just on and off. Um, this one has the uh, dimmer, which means that you can obviously adjust the brightness of the light that you're going to put on and uh, also uh, this is using the z-wave system uh, this is a home automation network um, kind of like zigbee or it's not wi-fi it doesn't um, it's, it's wireless but it's not wi-fi yeah so you can uh, look up z-wave um, on google and then learn more about that yeah so this one actually support the newer z-wave plus it works with all these different um, home automation technologies, including Alexa. And it has some features here at the back. And more features here. Yeah, so the reason I chose this one is because uh, it's widely used uh, bought this from Amazon for about 40 something dollars I'll put the link in the description and uh, we're going we're going to go through the installation um, including removing that particular old one there and uh, also setting it up using the uh, smart things hub uh, I'm using this one right here Samsung smart things um, installing it within the app to control this using smart things and the, um, the the iPhone app for that and with a little bit of demo also so let's get going so first thing we're gonna do is um, put in this neutral inside the uh, neutral wire here and Neutral is uh, usually marked by a white cable, so as this this cable is included, and uh, we are going to attach that to this this thing right here. Uh, so we're going to uncap that. I'm going to replace it with a larger uh, cap, and uh, we're going to include this cable in there. The other side of the switch are the black cables is where it goes so one of them should say line and the other one should say load let me see in this case actually they're about the same or they're actually exactly the same yeah very interesting so i guess it doesn't matter we're just going to uh, probably put the line at the bottom and the load on the top I forgot to mention that uh, before you open and start working any of these electrical stuff make sure that you have turned off the electrical at the breaker and test it to make sure that it actually has been turned off on the newer or more expensive uh, switches it has holes like this where you can stick in the wire so in this case um, I am going to straighten out these leads right here uh, these cable so that it can go into those holes Okay, so now that we have all the cables straightened out We're just going to insert them into the appropriate holes. So this is the uh, the line and we're going to put that at the bottom here Okay, I think I need to, there you go, 
loosen it up a little bit. Okay, we have uh, powered on the uh, circuit breaker and you can tell that uh, there's a blue light here. That means the, uh, the switch is on. So at this time, we are going to do the pairing to my Z-Wave uh, controller, which is actually upstairs in my media room, but you don't need to go up there. Uh, you can actually do everything here. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is add the device to the SmartThings app. Uh, you may be using another Z-Wave controller, but in this video, I'm gonna demo it using the SmartThings app. Um, excuse me about that. Um, so first you go to add device, and you can add by brand or by device type. Uh, I, it's easier for me to do it by brand, so I'm just gonna scroll down to GE here, and switch and dimmer, Z-Wave, uh, getting everything ready 100% Let's get started with your GE start. Let's see what's going on here. Yep. That is my smart things hub the room is I'm gonna put the patio Oh pavilion actually Okay, and Wallpaper no, nope. okay, so I'm just gonna add that room first sorry about that next okay if you have a GE paddle switch dimmer pre press the top so what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to press the top and up and release okay so and it says scan the QR code of the device which is on the box there's a QR code uh, this one right here is that one so let's scan that it's gonna register it and store it actually I think that's the same Z-Wave code that is here also so I shouldn't have needed to yeah, because it has a pin code. It's verifying the code. Let's see how long this is going to take. Still going. Okay, there's an option here that you can enter pin code instead. So I think this is something new with Z-Wave because it used to not require all this pin stuff. But uh, it's surely taking a long time to verify the pin. All right, it says successful. GE dimmer switch connected and just press done. All right, so I have it right here uh, as, as a new device. And uh, let's see if it works. So if I press the power button, It says it's off. Turn it on. And it's on. You can see that. Those are the lights right there. So let's uh, demonstrate it. I'm going to press. Whoops. It's just going to hard do it with one hand. Uh, hang on a second. Let me tilt this forward to the top. Okay. And uh, turn it off and turn it on awesome yeah it looks like uh, everything is working great um so with a dimmer what you can do is adjust this obviously um let me see i think you can huh, okay yeah there you go so you can turn it half half dim uh or very dim all right so we're going to test to see how this works so right now the lights are on and I'm going to turn them off. Did I press it? Okay, there you go. Let me press it. So it should turn off. Oh, nothing is happening. Off. Yep, they're off. And let's let's turn it to 100%. See now they're on 100%. You can also use a slider off. Turn it to 100%. 
yeah it's pretty responsive actually okay that concludes my video on this install for the uh, GE dimmer uh, this is by the way the Z uh, GE 3010 right I think yeah ZW 3010 is also the same as it's made by this company named Jasco uh, I have actually a lot of things made by Jasco so yep this is the same it looks good works properly thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you